make a video about uh, the uh, charger that comes with the car which usually charges as 1.4 kilowatt um, as mentioned in my last video I used it on a 220 volt um, outlet and I wanted to show how that works and how to double your charge speed so first of all a disclaimer I do not know if all chargers are like this so if you try this uh, try this at your own risk uh, please be cautious um, we do not want to set anything on fire or break nor your car or your charger so please proceed with caution um, and try this at your own risk so the reason I did this is I don't need the charge that a dedicated charging unit for home um, 30 or 40 amp because I don't need the daily range that a charger like that provides I was mainly using the home charger anyways and uh, once in a while uh, I found out that it would be nice to charge a little bit faster and that's how I um, found out about this uh, in a forum online and then I tried it myself so I got the parts uh, for this project on Amazon I will link in the description below to the parts that I got and I will show you how it works so since I'm charging at home and the only way to get more power than the 120 volt or 110 volts is a dryer outlet so I got um, the dryer cables NEMAR 14 30 and 1030 and then I got a plug uh, the NEMA 520 and assembled those into adapters for my cable and lastly I got an adapter from NEMA 1450 to the 1030 that way I can uh, plug the charger into a NEMA 1450 which is very common at campgrounds so usually you would just plug it into the wall outlet and into the car and it will charge at 1.4 kilowatt but you can cut your charge time in half by plugging it into the dryer outlet then into the car and it will charge at 2.7 kilowatt Again, please make sure you use components that are up to the higher load of up to 2.8 or 2.7 kilowatt. Um, otherwise, you can break equipment, charger, car, set your house on fire. So please do this at your own risk, okay? So I hope you liked this video and it helps uh, you to save some money just like it did me. Instead of spending three to five hundred dollars on a dedicated EVSE cable, I spent only about 40 to 50 dollars in parts and um, I can cut my charge time in half. So if you like that video please click like down below, subscribe if you want to see more, please ask questions in the comments and uh, let me know what you think. Thank you very much for watching and I uh, hope I'll see you next time. Bye.